Former Treasury Cabinet Secretary Okuri Atani has told MPs probing the Telcom Kenya buyout that the government is now the majority shareholder of Telcom Kenya. Yatani told the MPs that contrary to claims that government paid and did not receive the shares from Helios Limited, all the transferred documents are in Treasury, and he challenged the current Cabinet Secretary, Professor Njugun Ndungu, to make public the documents. Stephen Leto has more. I, Ukuri Atani. The probe into the controversial buyout of Telcom Kenya has taken a new twist after former Treasury CS Ukuri Atani was at the center of the six billion shillings payout revealed to the MPs that indeed the government of Kenya is now the majority shareholder after acquiring 60% shares from Jamuri Holdings. And as we are talking, all the original signed approved document the share and the castle of the national treasury is no longer with Helios, uh, is no longer with uh, because government the national treasury is now the 100 percent shareholder. As Ambassador Ukuri Atani, did you benefit directly or indirectly or through any proxies from any monies accruing? from the transaction that is under investigation. Yatani told the Joint Committee that the shareholding status has not been changed at the state law office since the Telecom Kenya board that is supposed to initiate the changes is said to be properly constituted. The National Treasury is in position of the share certificate. What has not been done, and, and it has not been done because the board, as, we, as directed by National Treasury, one did not meet because they do not have a quorum. So the records of the registrar of companies might not have changed. This approval was not sought within the two months a window of as provided for in the constitution. So was well, that then therefore uh, a bit of because you're taking advantage of the transition period? Yeah, Tani said the payments had been approved following a sitting by the National Security Advisory Council that wanted Telcom to be fully uh, that wanted Telcom to be fully government owned as it handles critical security installations, including office of the president, state house, the defense headquarters, the national intelligence service as well as running the AFMIS portal. If it was national security which was being cited, why is it that the same Ilios, the same Jamuri, still owns 60% of shares in Telcom? In 2018, the former president made an executive order to transfer Telecom Kenya to the Ministry of ICT Authority. We need to see and to know where the money was deposited or it should be because it's already, it's already uh, dispensed money. Bringing JHL here is of great value. So it is in order for us to pursue any avenue that we can get to have JHL appear here in person. The former Treasury boss also defended the bulk expenditure that was undertaken by the previous administration. The current Treasury CS Professor Njugunandungu will have the final word on whether he is in possession of the government new shareholding of Telcom Kenya. Stephen Letos.